Hey, Shalom, Makim, Shalom, Shalom. Your brother could not back at you. The truth started by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, and Bahashim. No comes to respect to the apostles and elders of great Muslim who dwell and teach well and lead Israel by a great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching his truth and his righteousness, bearing sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh, Shalom, and the call Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom, my kid. Alright, the Yah Ba Shemash I put the spur upon me to come out here another camp week, preach the law sheet for the house of Israel. Alright, to the twelve tribes that are scattered abroad. Greetings. Okay. This is the twelve tribes of Israel chart. Alright. Judah Benjamin Levi, which makes up the southern kingdom. Ephraim all the way down to Naphtali. Alright. Which make up all right the name of the heavenly father is yahweh who the name um uh, from the world and he called god jehovah yahweh jah his name is yahweh and his image look like this he's a so-called black man okay he look like you judites man all right dark skin woolly hair white woolly hair man dark skin woolly hair this is the name of his only begotten son yahweh shah who the world he called jesus all right he's also a so-called black man dark skin with woolly hair and a green garment. When you call upon your power, you must say Yahweh, right? Uh, which means he exists, he's to be. Bahashim, come in the name of Yahweh Shai. He saves, he delivers. Bahashim, come in the name of uh, Rakha Kwadash, which is the Holy Spirit that gives us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from all high, from the heavens. Okay? This truth is not of us, but is of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai's word, man. All right? And we are the. Uh, Preach the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America according to the Bible. Okay. Alright. And we're here to preach the end all be all of this society and the usher in of the kingdom of heaven. Alright, begin with our Lord Yahweh Shai. Alright, so this is the end game prophecy. Okay. Alright, you see the, the syringe. They're going to try to uh, implement electronic tags in people's skins. And it is like the size of a grain of rice. Okay. All right. And this is what they're going to be the uh, the establishment of World War Three. The ICBMs. It's going to come shoot at America. That's what these nations are preparing to destroy America. All right. And that's the M all be all of this country. All right. Babylon the Great. It's fire. All right. Here to preach prophecy, the downfall of Babylon the Great. I'm not going to make this a long camp lesson, but the Wadi Yabba Shem Yashai will give me the diligence to come out here and make my body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable and reasonable service unto you. Let me see if I can grab it real quick. All right. This, the foreign sword died. So I'm, now I'm going to uh, improvise scriptures the best I can, man. You know? Romans chapter the book of Romans chapter 12 let's start at the top it says I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. We present our bodies a living sacrifice. Okay? Just like I, uh, back back then. Alright? We used to have to sacrifice animals uh, uh, unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know, it would be have to, it have to be the firstborn. It have to be unblemished. It would have to be clean. We have to pray to the, to pray over the, uh, that certain lamb or goat to bless it unto the Lord. So I beseech you, there, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, and the word holy goes into separate, okay, acceptable unto God, okay, making your body a living sacrifice, okay, 
which is your reasonable service your reasonable service coming out here doing this work all right and the lord is going to deal with you better when you're outside serving him man okay verse two and be not conformed to this world what world this carnal world the the, wor the, the world of lust and flesh and pleasures okay be not conformed to this world and you see our people Negro Latinos and Native, Native Americans conform to this world, okay? You know, all in the flesh, all right? Our women are, are overweight and sloppy. The niggas, are, uh, the men are, they are niggas, but the men are, 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 are degenerate, wearing dreadlocks, pants down, all right? They don't take showers, they stink, okay? All right? This is a decrepit kingdom, okay? All right, they kill each other. Okay, they hate each other. All right, they rot steal from each other. All right, they commit adultery. Okay, you sleep with you sleep with the next man's woman. All right, you're gonna get put to death, man. Okay, you women, you sleep with uh, uh, other men other than your husband. Okay, see, this is the, this is the uh, the ways of this world, man. Y'all bashmashai don't look at this world as pleasant. This is an unpleasant society to the Lord, man. All right, it's very wicked. Very evil. Okay? They eat pork, shrimp, lobster all over the place. They be having contests to uh, see who could eat the most disgusting and abominable foods when those foods are roaches. Those foods are to clean the earth, man. I mean, you know, I mean, it's lucky. Those, those animals are to clean the earth. All right? Those, those are bottom feeders. Our people eating bottom feeders. You are what you eat. All right? You eat disgusting foods, you're going to be disgusting. So you, you, you ninjas, all right, are, are basically close to cannibalism, all right? Because you eat these roaches from the sea, all right? And basically, you see how people eat roaches too. Y'all gonna, gonna eat each other, man. Y'all not far from, y'all not far from committing cannibalism, okay? Y'all not far from committing cannibalism, all right? You eat the pork, the pork cleans the earth. You're not supposed to eat the pork. Be not conformed to this world. What world? This carnal world here. Be not conformed to this world. Okay? But be ye transformed by the renew, renewing of your mind. The, getting into righteousness. Okay? Getting your mindset out of eating the pork, shrimp, lobster. Alright? Being degenerates. You see, a nigga will do anything for money. Alright? You don't even have to tell him to do it for money, man. Alright? Back then it was like that, but now... They, all you gotta do, all they gotta do is pop the camera just to get a, a, a couple of likes. Okay? Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And who does the renewing in your mind? Yahweh Shai himself. Okay? That ye may prove what is good. And none of this society is good, man. Everything is everything in this society is wicked. You see this the ambulance is it, it, a that's, a, that's witchcraft, okay? You know, these lights that they have, it's witchcraft, okay? That causes uh, um, epilepsy, all right? You know? It causes, it, it cause, uh, um, it can give you amnesia. Not amnesia, slot you. It can give you, um, what do you call that thing? When you, um, you gotta see the white stuff coming out, okay? But it causes that, man, okay? Um, what is it called? It's a lot. A seizure. Yeah. Those ambulances, it could cause a seizure. Okay? That's what these lights is. It's abomination. Um, not abomination, but it's witchcraft. Okay? Verse 3, if I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is a among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according to, according as God have dealt to every man the measure of faith. So when the Lord give you this truth, be, be, be thankful. Be thankful. You're not more than, you're not more than the men that labor before you. We, we enter into uh, other men's labor. See? And who, who labored in this truth? Begin, beginning with our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who was here 2,000 years ago. We enter into his labor, going on, to, going on down to the apostles today, man, and they still here working, uh, uh, 35 years plus. See, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, giving them that 
a Holy Spirit oil to continue. See? Verse 4, 4, as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. See? The Lord bless us with different gifts. Okay? Alright? But just know that you are a servant of Yahweh Shem Um uh, First Corinthians chapter one verse nineteen for it is written I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and it will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. You see, and the, the Lord is dealing with the men that are, are are inconsiderate, the men that people don't care about, you know. The men that are, are basically going through complete hell every day. Okay, that's who the Lord is dealing with. He's not dealing with the guys with a, a big time career, big houses, and you know, business contracts everywhere, businesses, all the men that are in the world basically. He's dealing with the men that are that have a have a, a great understanding, all right, but are lowly. Okay. Where is the wise? Where is the scribes? There is the disputer of this world. Have not God made foolish? The wisdom of this world and aren't we don't we look foolish coming out here preaching to the eyes of the carnal man yes but not to the Lord okay and, and the, the, the the foolish looking ones are what bringing on this kingdom by this word all right we are the foolish looking ones out here preaching this word and people have the thoughts of oh these men are crazy oh they don't have no life oh this is all they do he just yell at the top of his lungs all right, and then until all hell break loose, and then what the scriptures say. Um, let me see. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, Ezekiel, Ezekiel, I think it was uh, Ezekiel 33. Um, no, no, look at Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse, let's verse, start at verse 24 then the spirit entered into me and set me on my feet and spake with me and said unto me go shut thyself within thy house all right saying within this truth in the house of David but thou O son of man behold they shall put hands upon thee and shall bind thee with them and thou shalt not go out among them Verse 26, okay? So the Lord ain't going to put us apart with this world or with new people, man. All right? Even if we got we to gotta die for the truth, we're going to stay steadfast in the truth, man. But the Lord is going to bless us with that spiritual power, and you got, we got to believe that through, this, through, the, through faith. All right? Brothers, focus on the kingdom. All right? This, this kingdom is finished. Uh, verse 26, And I will make thy tongue plead to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb and shalt not be to them a reprover for they are a rebellious house and the Lord is regarding to our people the Negro Latinos Native Americans all right and then you got there's like foreigners that look like the heathen nation but uh, a sea line goes back to Abraham Isaac and Jacob through their fathers okay and that spirit okay goes back to Abraham Isaac and Jacob man see so the Lord is going to make us dumb in the time of what? Uh, time of Jacob's trouble, according to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7. You can read that. Okay. Um, let's go to... Um, Go to Revelation. Now you Jakes that are so comfortable in this kingdom, you Negro Latinos and Americans that's comfortable in this kingdom, y'all gonna have a visitation by Yahweh Hashem Yahshua and the angels. Okay, it ain't gonna be nice. The Lord's gonna uh, uh, deal with y'all, man. He's gonna destroy two thirds of our people. All right, there's gonna be a lot of deaths. 
All right, happening out, happening throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 9 I know thy works and tribulation and poverty but thou art rich rich in what in the spirit so the Lord is talking about the elect okay we're the ones that's rich in the spirit and I know the blasphemy blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not what are the synagogues of Satan? And it, and it's twofold, all right? Because our, the, uh, that goes into the wicked of our people, okay? Taking the bad, the 501c3, okay? All right, uh, worshiping the images of um, Baal, all right? Worshiping the other gods, uh, keeping it, uh, basically keeping the other gods' holidays and uh, um, uh, worship, um, um, basically breaking all the law, statute, commandments. And it also goes into Esau, man. Okay, Esau try to be like us, you know. Try to uh, basically call him, they call themselves Jewish when they're really Amalek, you know. So basically, he took you uh, you Jake's, uh, yeah, yeah, heritage and your nation. He's a culture vulture. The so-called white man's a culture vulture. His nation, all all the nations of the so-called white men, is culture culture vultures, right? And they're the Edomites. Okay. But verse 10 says what? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. And we are, we are suffering today. All right, for, the, for, um, for our father's sins. And, and the wicked of our people. All right. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, is comfort, comforting us with this truth, this knowledge that he gave us, man. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. All right. He's going to cast some of the elect into prison. So let's read it again. Fear none of those things. None of those things, okay, which thou shalt suffer, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, all right? The devil goes into your FBI, CIA, secret services. They're going to start rounding up, um, rounding up you jakes, man, putting on boxcars and sending out to the concentration camps. They got them all ready, okay? They got these uh, electronic tags ready, man. That's the next step. That's the end all, be all, all right? And if you don't, and they got the guillotines ready for you rebellious uh, uh, children, man. Okay, they got the military going uh, doing night drills. All right, but we ready, man. Uh, the elect is ready, but you Jakes is just gonna get caught off guard. Why? Because y'all yeah, uh, have been ignorant. i have been warned so many times, and y'all about Shemesh is just gonna judge y'all. Um. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulations ten days. So that ten days goes into a period of time. All right. So the Lord is gonna uh, give us that spirit to just be comfortable. All right. Until He comes back, man. You're gonna, we're gonna. The Lord gonna have to where an angel break us, break us out, like how He had um, Habakkuk go to Daniel to feed him. You know. The Lord's gonna do these things, man. All right. Like how the Lord uh, freed uh, Peter and the disciples and they went back to preach. All these miracles is going to happen, man. And that's what we believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, which is the so-called white man, his CIA agent, FBI, you know, is going to cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. So be ready to just uh, give your life up for the Lord, man. Don't give your life up for this society, cause you got a lot of jakes still taking that the jump shot, and they gonna if they take the jump shot, they are gonna take the uh, the electronic tag in the skin. And I will give thee a crown of life. So we fighting for that crown of life, brothers. Okay. He that have an ear, verse eleven, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death meaning we're gonna overcome what death 
okay, but through the Spirit of the Lord, man. I want to jump down to verse 21. Let me see. No, not 21. So we just got to overcome, brothers. And okay, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shai. Um, let's get um, Proverbs 18. The book of Proverbs, chapter 18. Let's get the book of Proverbs chapter 18. But the only way we're going to escape the judgments that's going to happen on the earth is through the spirit of the Lord. Okay? And you got to know his name in order to escape. The judgments that's going to happen on earth. Um, Proverbs. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. The name of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is a strong tower. Like you go into a tower and they start uh, basically try to catapult, you know, whatever. Back in the day, they used to try to, uh, cat like uh, when, it was, when it was war, they used to try to catapult uh, those big old cannonballs, all right, at, at the castle. But that's but how much more the, the the tower of the Lord, okay? That's basically a, a, a is unbreakable. It's like a brazen wall, okay? A wall from the heavens. Um, yeah, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. So we run into the uh, the name of Yahweh Bashim Nashai. We are safe. All right, meditate upon the Lord and the kingdom of heaven. Meditate upon the angels protecting us. Meditate upon the chariots. These things is all account for righteousness, man. Okay, just praying to the Lord daily, man. All right. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. Okay, what, what's the rich man's wealth? Is this truth, the knowledge of the Lord, the knowledge of Yahweh, Shem Yahushua, the Lord bless us with. Okay, so the call out ones, we're gonna get that knowledge. Is gonna be start building a, a foundation of a strong city, okay? As I, as as it says through the spirit, we right? enter other men's labors, okay? We ain't getting with our Lord Yahweh shot, okay? And as high, and as an high wall in his own conceit, before destruction the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility, and you see the heart of man is haughty. The, the mindset of men is evil. Okay. But before honest humility, so we're going through the humility period, all right? Being scorned, being scoffed at, all right? Being mocked, ridiculed. We're going through the humility people, a humility stage, in which people do not believe the doctrine that's coming out, man. Okay. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it. See, and that's that's what happened with the majority of our people. They don't listen. Get what I'm saying? They don't listen. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it. Want to talk over it. They want to talk over each other. And that's why there's a lot of contention. There's a lot of arguments and an involvement of violence. It is folly and shame unto him. The spirit of a man will sustain his infir infirmity. But a wounded spirit, who can bear? Now people are wounded. You see? All right? They want to follow the, the, the doctrine of the, these, these devils, man. Okay? Um, yeah. All right, let's go to Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. The Lord don't change. All right, and his elect is not consumed by the, the, the doctrine and the philosophies of this world. Okay, we are enduring through the spirit. 
All right, this is a spiritual warfare, not a not a, a, a carnal physical battle, man. We ain't picking up guns. We ain't picking up um, any armory. We picking up the scriptures, the spirits of Yahweh Shai. We picking up, and that's how we're gonna defeat Esau through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, Esau's a carnal man. They gotta pick up guns. They need armies. They need police. They need uh, uh, national guards. They need all these things to basically uh, feel safe. We got the Lord. That's what makes us feel safe. See. We gonna we gonna this king we gonna through the spirit power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai take this kingdom down through the words of the, of the Lord, man. See, Yahweh Shemuel Shai is gonna establish his kingdom. You know, Yahweh Shai is gonna establish his kingdom, man. Begin with the uh, uh, begin with himself and uh, the house of David, okay, which includes the uh, the twelve and one hundred and forty four thousand, okay. Verse 7, even the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye sh said, wherein shall we return? And that's via these scriptures, via this truth. Return to being a Hebrew Israelite and understanding the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Understanding the righteousness that's, that's coming out of these scriptures. Put off of eating pork trip lots of putting off adultery because Jake loved to commit adultery, man. Sleep with the next man's woman. See? Things of that nature. Alright. Let's go to let's go to Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven oven and all the proud yea and all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up saith the lord of hosts that it shall leave neither root nor branch and that's the missiles man that's when the missiles hit this place babylon the great and yahweh shall return of the so-called ufos and the holy angels all right basically uh, uh invading uh, uh planet earth okay so this place is gonna burn as an oven two times Okay. But unto you that fear my name Shall the son of righteousness Arise with healing in his wings And shall go forth And grow up as calves of the stall So the Lord is going to Basically deliver us Okay We're going to go up in the, uh, the spaceships Alright And deliver, be delivered by Yahweh Shai himself With righteousness man Okay And and ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. In the day that I shall do this, save the Lord of hosts. Spiritual power is coming to the elect. Alright, believe it or not. Okay. Um, let me see. I want to get Jeremiah. Um, what is it, Isaiah 41. I'm about to close up shop. Yeah, let's read for edification. Let's read um, Revelation 13 and 16 for edification. See? We are looking to get up out of this kingdom, man. The animals are mourning. Trees are mourning. Earth is mourning. Everything that has life is mourning. Because of these devils in power. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered uh, the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And we understand that's Esau. Alright? The so-called white men. Alright? They are the, the destroyers of earth. Of earth. Okay? But he's gonna, he's gonna have, um, he's going to try to implement this uh, electronic tag and try to uh, 
cause totalitarianism, all right? Control the minds of everybody on earth with these electronic tags. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls it all. Who is that he? All right, the so-called white man, Esau. He calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. So you're going to cause all to receive the electronic tag inside the hand. Okay? And that no man might buy or sell. That's why they're closing down shops. That's why they're preparing uh, uh, medical offices. Okay? So you ain't going to be able to buy or sell if you don't have the electronic tag. No man might buy or sell save he that have the mark or the name of the or the name of the NATO and the EU or the number of his name. All right. For his wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of NATO and the EU for it is the number of a man and his number is chai stai stigma. Okay. All right. The one six 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 man, okay, see. So by default you worship man, okay. All right, and if you take that, you're going to get destroyed by Yahweh Shai according to the Book of Revelation fourteen, fourteen verse nine and ten, okay. So this kingdom is on is on its way out, and let's read on. Um, Isaiah brothers we almost going home man just keep enduring keep pushing I'm exhausted myself the scriptures say he shall wear out the saints okay all right even even King David told the Lord this is my, my my bones are vexed all right they're weak see the with these devils in power okay they it, it, there's so much evil that's happening and so, so much of a spiritual battle that's going on is making us weak okay um trying to get it Isaiah 41 Isaiah 41 Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 41 verse, verse 14 Fear not thou worm Jacob Okay And who's Jacob? The Negro, Latinos, Native Americans Okay Israelite foreigners Who sea line go back And their, their father sea line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob Because the Lord is only dealing with the men of Israel Okay Fear not thy worm Jacob and ye men of Israel. And they say women, ye men. When you see these women today, they call themselves goddesses. They want to be worshipped. They want a big job. They want to do man jobs. Dude, a lot of you women are going to fucking die, man. Straight up. Because there's a lot of pride in the earth. And the Lord going to have to humble you women down, man. All right? There's going to be a lot of uh, destruction coming to this place, man. It's, the pride is too heavy. All right? You can, feel, you can cut it with a steak knife. On, on how high the pride is here in America and like places like America. That's why you, why you think Ukraine got the, the kind of destruction they got? Because the pride was super high over there, man. You know? Fear not thou worm Jacob and ye men of Israel. I will help thee. How The Lord said he's going to help us, man. What kind of power is that? Okay? I will help thee. It says... Save the Lord and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Who's that? That's Yahweh Shai. Lord, Lord Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shai to save us. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Okay. Thou shalt thresh the mountains 
and beat them small and shall make the hills as shot. That's spiritual power. The Lord is going to bless his men with spiritual power, man. Okay? Beat them small as shot. Okay? You're going to be like a, a 144,000 Dragon Ball Z fighter, Dragon Ball Z fighters, man. You know? Or, 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 or it's going to be what? It's going to be like Marvel Comics. X-Men, 144,000 X-Men. The Lord is going to do this, man. And we believe that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Let's see my close-up shot. So let me read uh, Revelation 14 and 9. Here's the judgment of them that worship the image of the beast. Okay? The book of Revelation chapter 14 Verse 9 And the third angel followed them Saying the Lord with a loud voice If any man worship The uh, The woman on, Riding on the beast And his image And receive his karagma In his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahvashai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, which is his anger. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So that's the Lord's anger. If you take that uh, karagma, the electronic tag, all right, you're going to be uh, put to death, man. By the, by the Lord's anger Which is fire, brimstone And how that's going to happen By the, the, the laser beam of Yahweh Shai's chariot Chariots and chariot And the nuclear missiles And the smoke of their torment Ascended Up forever and ever And they have no rest day nor night Who worship the karagma And, the, uh, and his image Okay, that the, the basically the system. Okay. And and this is this is uh it's all about digital currency, that digital currency system. Okay. And whosoever receives the mark of I mean it's like the paragma of his name, which is Esau. Here is the patience of the saints, here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai and the faith of Yahweh Shai. So the faith, the, uh, the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai, and we got to keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father, which He established in this book for us to follow us Israelites, so we could be in the right path for our Lord Yahweh Shai's salvation, which is the faith. Okay, and I'm gonna read Isaiah. We're gonna close with Isaiah 26. Um, okay, let me get a, let me get Sirach. Sirach 4. Sirach 4. Oh, Sirach 4 and 28. Ecclesiasticus, the Apocrypha. Okay. Strive for the truth until death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Okay. So we got to strive for the truth until death, man. And the Lord is going to fight for us. And it also reads, we go uh, to Rock chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tyrant to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. But suddenly the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh, shall come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And that's where we want to we want to stand in what? The mercies of Yahweh, Shai, which is why we're constantly doing this work. Okay? So we can't put off from day to day as the scriptures say. Um let's get um let me see. Let's get wisdom of Solomon. 
See the moon. It looks beautiful over there. See the bright light over there. Fall home and lie out by Chanel Shine. For the moon. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. So they don't make no account of our labors. I'll be coming out here preaching this word uh, day in and day out. See, Yahweh Hashem Shai is with us, man. All right, we don't, we're not here for men's likings. We're here for the Yahweh Hashem Shai's likings. All right, he's the one who's trying our own minds and our, 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 our reigns. He's the one who's examining us as we are examining ourselves. You know, and it says, um, and may no account for the labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with great, uh, terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangers of the salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Now, everybody's looking for uh, salvation, but they go in the wrong place because your, your wacky, taggy Christian church is not, doesn't have no goddamn salvation. They bring you death, okay? And they repent and groaning for anguish of the spirit. So when Yahweh shine, come with the holy angels and beam us up in the chariots. All right, the, the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots of God. Okay, which are the, our holy angel brothers are operating those ships, which are so-called black men. All right, you, you people are going to be groaning and, re and repenting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why you can't save me? Because I was wicked, man. The Lord is going to save His elect, the call out one, the chosen. Repenting and groaning in anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. So a lot of people will be talking shit. Okay? So as y'all talking shit, yeah, in y'all hypocrisy, the Lord's gonna burn y'all up with the laser beams, man. See? And this, and I'm gonna end it with um Isaiah. I'm gonna end it. Matter of fact, I got Ezekiel 3. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah, and I'm going to get Ezekiel and close it out. Book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, chapter twenty six. And I saw the key of David, because we do got the key of David, which is the knowledge. All right, and we know that David is in the spiritual realm, and we waiting for our Lord to resurrect David, okay, and uh, basically rule over this whole earth. King David is going to rule over the earth, man. And we're going to be along with him ruling. So Isaiah chapter 26. Verse 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed, until the anger of the Lord go over, basically Babylon the Great, main places like Babylon the Great, which is America, and Isaiah... All right, uh, um, six o'clock. Yeah, I said Isaiah, and um, the land of Israel. Cause those those nineteen forty eighters is dwelling in our land and polluting it. So the Lord's gonna destroy th that land with missiles. Okay, but well, the missiles gonna mainly hit this landscape here and uh, Israel, the Holy Land. Okay, it's not holy today because you got the heathen polluting it. All right, so. Isaiah, call my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy, shut thy doors about thee. So the chambers is the chariots, the UFOs. In the world, they call UFOs. Those are the chariots of God, okay? And those are spiritual ships. And that's where we're going to enter when this place get put on fire, man. So the Lord is going to beam us up, and he's going to destroy America. And shut thy doors about thee, hide thyself as it were for a little moment, until the indignation, the anger of the Lord be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place, come, come from the fourth dimension, 
all right, from that uh, uh, fourth dimension into the third, third dimensional realm, all right, with his, with his son, Yahweh Shai, all right, for behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. And who's the inhabitants of the earth? You so-called white people, man, you Edomites. You are the inhabitants of the earth. Earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. There's going to be so much death on earth, man. You know? Wow. There's going to be so much death on earth. Okay? That it, it, you could squeeze the earth, you could, you could see the blood dripping into a cup. Man. You know, that's the Lord's anger. All right? And I'm going to close it out. So we're going to be entering the uh, the chariots of Yahweh Shem I'm going to close it out with Ezekiel 33 verse. Oh, the, the moon just got covered by a cloud. There might be a great chariot over there. But only the Lord knows. So let's close it out. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 32. Let's start at verse 31. And let me see. Verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one, one to er, another, everyone to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that coming forth from the Lord, because our people do not believe. Okay? And it says, They come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will do, will not do them. And our people's hypocrites. They, they, they hear righteousness, but they ain't going to do it. All right? They hear the names of the Lord and calling the names of the Lord, but they're still eating pork, shrimp, lobster. See, that's how they move, man. Still scoffing, still mocking. For with their mouth, they shew much love. And that's that's Israel, Negro, Latinos, Native Americans. But their heart goes after their covetousness. Verse 32. And lo, they are unto them as a very lovely song. This word, the scriptures coming out, the truth. Lovely song. One that have a pleasant voice and can play well on instrument when these precepts come out. All right, just like how Bo vocab say what uh, he say Hebrew hot scotch, but yet you, you you demonic devils are going to slavery, man. Y'all going to slavery under those Israelites. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. Verse thirty three. And when this come to pass, lo, it will come. They then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. All right, and, the, and the, we, the prophets, coming out here day in and day out, making our bodies a living sacrifice and dedicating the time. All right, to Yahweh Shem Shai daily. All right, giving you this knowledge, but the Lord is going to take away according to the Book of Amos, chapter eight, verse eleven. Basically, He's going to hide the truth away from Israel to not hear it. All right, the truth is still going to be out, but the Lord is going to hide his prophets of, from preaching his truth, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, comforting to the very elect of Yahweh Shai. Spiritual power is coming, and the kingdom of Israel is about to be established. All right? Jacob's trouble is going to have to happen first, but we have a kingdom, brothers. All right? So, we're going to have much, uh, everything and more in the kingdom to come. All right, seven women shall take a hold of one man, go to the book of Isaiah 4 and 1, and we're going to eat in the time of famine. 
all right according to the book of isaiah chapter 65 verse 13. now you see the moon is out so we're going to end it by giving all praises honor and glory to yahweh ba'ashem yahushai ba'ashem rakakadash double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great muslim who are well and teach well and lead in israel by a great example to this day peace and salutation go to the elect teaching and preaching is truth and his righteousness purity and sincerity and waiting on yahweh shai whom the world and he called jesus christ for salvation Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala, Quam Yasharala. One and above all, death to America, Shalom on Machiam. Stay strong in the spirit, the most out with the salvation of Yahweh Shalom. Shalom on, stay strong, keep the faith, keep the faith, keep the faith. We going home. Shalom on Machiam. I'm going to show you the moon real quick. Look, the moon looking like a sun. Shalom on.